Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our Eight Ages of Rome series. Things are going pretty well. I did notice, however, as soon as I booted up the game, Germany is already a step ahead of us in the science victory, friends. So uh, we have we have our work cut out for us if we're going to win this scientifically. We are building several spaceports and have built a couple of spaceports, if I'm not mistaken. Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, spaceport. Where else is there one? I'm just, I'm just looking visually for that very boxy building. It's not hard to spot. So, I don't actually see any others. I know that we've built more than just that one, haven't we? Have we not? Where are they? Huh. Okay, well, I could have sworn we had more spaceports than just the one right there. But we need to use that spaceport. Holy crap, we've got a couple of wonders building uh, just to help us continue to build momentum. And we are at war with Russia. We could very well be at war with Germany soon, especially since we need to push back against their uh, nonsense uh, threatening to win the scientific victory. If they're one step ahead of us, it's going to be very challenging actually beating them to this punch. So I just captured a settler from a nearby, I think it was a Russian settler, actually. Um, we're going to protect it for a turn, but we also need to make sure this Egyptian settler doesn't do anything crazy. So let's have a look around and see what... Yeah, we're all, we, we do have a spaceport being produced in Hattusa. I'm, I'm so thrown, like, right as I'm starting this episode. Like, I know there was more than one spaceport. Big Ben is three turns away. That's going to be really handy. That extra economic policy? Absolutely. All right, so the whole world hates us, though. So we could very well, as the last episode's title indicates, <laughs> we could very well be headed for World War Let's knock out this Russian catapult with our submarine and enjoy it far too much. <laughs> ah, something's happened. Let me guess. Counter Spy has been promoted. Ah, okay. So someone wants jeans. Because I have jeans now. And they want their spy back. That's your offer? I already have sugar. No. Sorry, Congo. You're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have to keep on hating. He's been hating me for the entire game, it's not going to stop now. So we have work to do. Holy crap. And Tula is, of course, repairing. It's going to take a long time to repair Tula. Alright, now I do need to get an observation balloon out in support of this artillery. Someone very rightly called me out for that. I haven't been very good at... Yeah, I can buy an observation balloon, no problem. So let's do that. And they're going to help support artillery. I might be able to train another one soon. We, have, we of course, have airplanes as well, which is helping. Um, but let's, let's step forward just to see what kind of a view we can get. We want to hit Moscow as quickly as possible. Interesting, that unit can't travel that far. Now, Suleiman... Okay, good. So Su Suleiman does actually give attack bonuses to these units. Good to know. He's currently tied to this infantry army, so what we're going to do is actually just move this infantry army right up to Moscow. We're just going to get nice and uncomfortably close. And yeah, let's go ahead and pillage that. That might have been a little bit early, but just trying to do a little bit of extra damage. Oh no, the helicopter can move. Handy. If I get here, Yaroslav can't fire on me. I just want to give as many possible targets to Moscow as possible. Oh, can I fly this thing out over the water? I can, and I can actually surround Moscow this way. So, yeah, let's get it out here. Now we just need to wait on this observation balloon to be ready. So what I'm going to do is move this artillery a little bit closer... Alright, can't do anything that turn, as expected. Choose production, what do we have? Trivandrium. Let's buy that amphitheater with Faith. Anything else I can buy with Faith? Yeah, Archaeological Museum. Hell yes, and... Broadcast Center would be good, Archaeologist would be better. Need to continue to scout out as much additional culture as possible. So we have a tank core here that apparently can move farther than the game is indicating. Don't know why it's doing this to me, but... There we go. I could form an army with that other tank, actually. Yeah, see, I would lose this promotion, but this unit becomes that much stronger. All 
All right, now this bomber can definitely go ahead and attack. It can attack Moscow, right? Maybe. Hang on. Yes, it can. It would count as a major victory, too. So let's go ahead and pay a visit to Moscow. Try and get as much momentum as possible as we resume our victory run in this series. I'm just worried about Germany getting that scientific victory. That's my that's our major threat at the moment. So we need to use our spies to maximum effect. Which reminds me as well, I have this spy in Rome that I'm going to send to Germany to mess with them like no other. Go to Aachen. Confirm placement. Now, in Rome, I'm going to need a new counter spy. I can't train anything just yet. This spy would take seven turns. Hmm. The Estadio de... What's that, what's that giving me? Can you tell me what that's given me, please? Pretty please? Oh, here it is. Plus two amenities in each city in your civilization must be built on flatland. See, that's handy. I don't want to give that up. I'll train a spy in another city. We're probably going to take some damage in Rome as a result of this, because we just moved our best spy to be in a more offensive position. But, nonetheless. That is what we're doing. I'm going to try and use my bombers to maximum effect here. Now, I can actually hit... I'm not going to hit Moscow just yet. I'm going to have my units around the city fortify so they can take a little bit more damage. Unit needs orders. Oh, yes, I forgot. This is going on. Ah, uh, We have a number of things to do here. I'm tempted to attack this settler from Egypt <laughs> and just take it. I mean, Egypt is not that much of a threat to me. We would run over all these ancient units they have um, if they chose to attack, but that would be a huge distraction if I did that. That's the only reason I'm not taking that settler. Speaking of that, though, I do need to be careful about where it could possibly settle. If I put a city here, it couldn't settle anywhere but, like, right here. Actually, no, right there. It would be the only spot. Huh. Yeah, tell you what. Let me move that settler there. I'll move the tank as well so it's protected. We're going to move some other units too. Ah, screw it. Let's just. Oh, no, no. Never mind. I don't want to declare war on Germany. I was trying to attack the Barbarians. They're hanging out in your zone, but okay, fine. No help for me then. Alright, so let's move you. I guess we're just going to use you to scout a little bit, huh? Which is perfectly normal. Alright, next turn. Just, oh wait, what's happening here? Alright, big surprise, they're attacking my tank. Moscow is attacking some of my infantry units, but now some of my units would be in better position to deal some damage. And I can move my observation balloon in range of this artillery. Actually, I want to have it help this artillery. Truth be told. Now, where's that great general? Is it here? Okay, good. Great general's in range. Oh, wow. What was that? Sweet. Bomber's promotable. 12 combat strength versus land units. Seven combat strength when defending, defending versus fighter class. Yep, we're going to give close air support to that bomber. And then Serta. Could we? I mean, I've got a fantastic gold income. There's no reason to really go for any more gold at the moment. More production, maybe. Uh, an extra spy that would take 13 turns. That's a little bit too long. I can train them at a better city than that. Um, Manhattan Project, yes. We're going to need to bomb the crap out of Germany to stop them from winning the science victory, right? Hmm. Decisions. Well, screw it. Let's just do a theater square uh, quest festival. Wow. Theater square festival. Words. They're in Serta. And here we're going to... Oh, that was the road. I meant to pillage something else. Damn, what a waste. 
What a waste. Didn't mean to do that at all. Right, let's take this observation balloon and have them support these guys. Then they'll link up. Can't quite fire yet, but should be able to next turn. You, however, can fire. Alright, so we're going to start wearing down on their... Oh, good, they're promotable. That's excellent news. Now, I also need to put you right there. Actually, let's take your naturalist. We need to do as much damage to Moscow's defenses now as we can. Yeah, this counts as a major victory. Let's go ahead and do it. I don't want them damaging my units any more than is necessary. Yeah, I can't fire just yet, unfortunately. I do want to keep these units separate rather than combining them in a core. Alright, so now let's attack Moscow one more time. Moscow's going to fall to us pretty quickly. And then Yaroslav should as well. We're going to take Russia out of the game. I'm kind of tempted to conquer them completely if I can move fast enough. Promotion available for that bomber as well. Great news. Alright, so this infantry army... Oh, you can attack again. I forgot about that. This is a maximum level infantry army. And they're promotable again. Holy crap! Uh, okay. Um, no, you just skip your turn. Uh, they're still promotable? Why? Holy crap. I'm just going to give him uh, Zweihander. That's fantastic. Level 6 infantry army. That's going to be a huge boon for the rest of the game. All right, let's go ahead and move you here and have you fortify. Can't fire with you just yet, as we've established. We'll just skip your turn. You... Okay, yeah, you need to come here and fire on some of these guys. Yeah, these, these Russian units are not having a good time over here. So let's go ahead and settle a city here to push that Egyptian settler. Now they can't form a city. Hang on, let's look at the settler map. Yeah, they, they can't get to this location unless they were to go around, which they very well could. And as a matter of fact, let's see if we can slow them down from that. No, we can't really. We can't buy that far out from Kume. All right, so yeah, let's start firing. Purchase a granary. I could purchase a naturalist. That'd be nice. Why not go for what first? I need a builder, honestly. Can I purchase a builder? Yeah, I can. Let's purchase a builder and then. Yeah, let's go and go for a harbor first. It is a coastal city. Kind of important. Alright, we've got this tank. That would decisively kill either unit nearby. So let's take out this one. Problem solved. Just looking for any more Russian units, really. Okay, now this spy needs to... Now, wait a minute. Where is your spaceport, if not in Aachen? I have to look around for it. Where the hell is it? I know you launched a satellite, dude. I know you did. Don't hide from me. Where's your freaking spaceport? I should be able to... Oh, there it is. Interesting. It's in Trier. Alright, so you are going to need to travel to a new city. Go to Trier, but it's not saying anything about it there either. I mean, I'm looking at it. It's right there. I need to sabotage rocketry. Trier is the place to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to Trier. I see it. It's there. Maybe it's still being built. Maybe that's what it is. So if it's still being built, where's the existing one? Where are you? It's not in Frankfurt. It's not in Berlin. Oh wait, they have other cities down here. 
Are you kidding me? It's in Cologne? Holy crap. And they actually look like they're on the verge of another launch. Germany could get this scientific victory unless I bomb the crap out of that. I'm going to need to go to war with them soon. All right, Russia wants peace. Haha, <laughs> no. That's a big fat no. <laughs> they know Moscow is screwed. Uh, tell you what, my people will settle where they please. He's giving me crap for starting a city there. Please, give me a break. Yeah, we're going to need to push hard. I might even need to... Yeah, man, beating him to that launch is going to be tough. I mean, that thing's already on the launch pad. Assuming that that's an accurate... Don't watch the big clock. Do what it does. Keep going. All right, so we've got Big Ben, which means we have an extra economic policy, which couldn't have come at a better time. Let's go ahead and... Let's just do box formation here. What else do we have? Artillery promotable. Grape shot. Okay. That's Spy. In Trier. Should have trusted my instincts and not put it in Trier. I have a Cassus Belly against him, interestingly enough. Okay, so it's in Cologne. Disrupt Rocketry. There it is. Confirm placement. So that's our best spy. Hopefully we can disrupt Rocketry in Cologne and slow down their progress there. So Ravenna can now... What can you do? Well, yeah, let's go ahead and get the research lab. Manhattan Project would be nice. Spaceport would take way too long. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for the Manhattan Project in Ravenna. I feel like I'm racing against the clock now. This is crazy. Ooh, Cilium has a Russian unit nearby. Where did you come from? You jerk. All right, so Russia actually is in a position to start doing more damage to me down here. I did not see that coming at all. I'm going to have to deal with their nonsense as well. Yeah, I want to go ahead and go for the... Uh, well, I, the city doesn't need either of these right now. What Cilium could use... Is some artillery to push back against. Yeah, that's good enough. To push back against this Russian advance. So an additional uh, military units fine there. And why not... Let's get a builder ready, because we're going to need one. Okay, we have an extra economic slot. Holy crap, need to be careful here. Hmm... 15% production towards industrial area and later wonders. So nothing science specific, unfortunately. Or nothing um, rocketry specific. There's the production. There's I could go back to having urban planning plus one production in all cities, but at this point, that's not. It's it's not very worthwhile. Ooh. Yeah. You know what? Well, no. Hang on. I'm just looking at each one here, in order. Plus one amenity to all cities with at least two specialty districts. That would be helpful. 100% science from campus district buildings. That would be helpful, too. That might be better than... Yeah, let's do that. It's still a scientific victory we're going for, so... God, all right. Let's hit Moscow. This is a leveled-up bomber. Ready to do some damage. Yeah, Moscow's going to fall this turn. Easy. And this episode, for that matter. You can move there. Alright, for some reason, even though we've got a unit there, it's not... Uh, I guess this unit doesn't exert zone of control. That's what it is. Interesting. Alright. Let's blow the crap out of their walls. Very good. One more time. Really? Oh, I guess he's already fired this turn. Oh well. Conquer Moscow, please. Oh, that was satisfying to watch. Alright, so that tank got promoted. We are definitely going to keep that city. And we're going to keep moving north. Let's go ahead and pay a visit to Yaroslav. 
Where else do we have movable units? Not really anywhere. These planes are going to be out of range soon. Now this bomber can't attack anywhere yet. All right, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and repair the... These repair times are nice. Now let's repair the university so we get the science back. Okay, and now we've got this... Oh, what's this spy doing? Interesting. Okay, well, why don't I move you? No, you're going to travel to Rome, actually. Didn't we just have this discussion? You're going to go to Rome. Go there. And then you're going to confirm placement, and then we'll counter spy in a turn so you can start leveling up in the place of that other spy that, that we've been working on. Okay. You need to... Come here and pillage, but not this turn, evidently. She can't. Alright, in that case, just fortify until healed. Excellent. Alright. We've got a better chance of being able to corral Yaroslav. Alright, now we've got a spy here as well. You know what we need to do? You're going to move to... Looks like Trier is their next location where they're going to try and build something, so... Yeah, you're going to travel to Trier. We need to shut down their rocketry game. You need to fortify. You need to just skip your turn. You need to die. Excellent. Sorry, that probably sounded very vindictive. You need to die. But it's true. They do need to die. Alright, this infantry army can just hang out there. So Russia is very much being neutralized as a threat, but unless we stop Germany, the game will not in fact be ours. Caution is the word of the day, but also expedience. Oh, wow. Holy crap. That was devastating. I'm glad they survived. They're down to, like, one hit point. And we've also... It looks like we have a Russian field cannon army right here. And that's going to do a lot of damage unless I get the, the artillery in place to blow them to pieces. Which I look forward to doing. Alright, you move back. And heal up. Now, this unit has an observation balloon, so if I come here, can I fire? I come here, can I fire? No, I can't. I guess just because maybe this unit still can't attack after moving, perhaps? But we've got those artillery in position now to do damage against them. Meanwhile, oh, wait, just kidding. Have a nice life. <laughs> that works too. All right, this tank is promotable, so let's go ahead and give them, ooh, plus five combat strength against damaged units. Yes, absolutely. And the promotion heals them up. So let's also repair the research lab. Same reasons as the other building. Alright, and then you will just skip your turn. You will skip your turn. Can I hit? Yes, I can. Perfect. So we've got some leveled up planes. Able to do as much damage to Yaroslav as they did the Moscow. Moscow has a housing issue at the moment that I need to resolve. I'm going to do my best to conquer the majority of Russian territory here. And then we might go to war with Egypt just for funsies. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was testing the attack strength of that helicopter, but they're not quite ready to take on Yaroslav on their own. None of these units are, in fact. All right. All right. That, we just sent Beethoven back to Yaroslav. But I want you to stay in the water. Fortify. Ah, traitor. I just need money. That's all I really care about at this point. 
let's see. Yeah, Geneva. Trade with Geneva. Keep that awesome income up. Amsterdam is also giving a pretty nice culture bonus, so let's trade with them. And then what do we have here? These barbarians are still hanging out. Yeah, you just skip your turn for now. We don't have much to do with these units out here. Uh, we've got a Russian submarine off our coast. I'm glad we spotted them. That's actually a submarine fleet. So they're going to be able to do some damage to me, but that sub is promotable now, so hopefully that'll help. <laughs> Once again, the game tells me I can attack something that I can't. That's fine. We'll attack this way. We needed to get that artillery in place anyway, so that's, that's a win regardless. And let's go to the next turn. At the same time, I will go ahead and prepare to cut this episode here. Oh no, they're attacking my artillery. Big whoop. <laughs> they don't stand a chance once that thing can actually fire. I'm surprised I needed to get it this close, though. I should be able to move it a step back with that uh, observation balloon. Yeah, one shot from this thing at this point should be good to go. But yeah, I'll go ahead and cut this episode here. In the next one, we are going to work on continuing to kick the crap out of Russia and uh, hopefully do some damage to Germany's science game because they are currently doing a ton of... Uh, <laughs> they're quite they're, well, they're currently doing a ton of damage to ours, but we're going to have to resolve that situation. But I'm optimistic. The game's still going well. I just need those spies to actually accomplish things, so we'll see what they can pull off in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes in Eight Ages of Rome air every day at noon Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.